Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Joanna and I'm going to show you how to do some hip cars. CARS stands for Controlled Articular Rotations. So essentially this means we're going to take your hip through its entire range of motion in a slow and controlled manner. So to do this, we're going to start in a quadruped position. So get on your hands and knees. And then we'll do my left hip. So to perform this, I'm going to slowly bring my hip into flexion, which is going to look like bringing my knee toward my elbow. And then from here, I'm bringing my leg out laterally into an abducted position. And then once I get as far as I can go without moving my back or twisting through my um, pelvis, I'm going to start rotating my leg so that my foot is parallel or flat with the ceiling. And then we come into an extended position here. And then we want to reverse this entire motion. So I'm going to pick my leg up so my hip is an extension, not so far that my lower back is arching, just as far as my glutes will take me when I'm squeezing my glutes. Then I'm going to bring my leg back out, foot still flat with the ceiling. And then once I reach my max here, I'm going to rotate down and back to my starting position where my hip is flexed. So the things that we want to be watching out for when going through this motion is any movement in the back. So I don't want to be arching or rounding at any position. So when I'm flexing, I don't want to be coming so far that I'm rounding through the spine. And when I get to the end of the movement, I don't want to be um, extending through my lower back. Other cheats are um, if you are coming into this flex position and then lifting your leg out toward the side, but you find that one of your elbows or both of your elbows are bending to help you get into that position, that's considered cheating. So we want to keep the spine in a completely neutral position and make sure that we're not side bending in any way or uh, extending or flexing throughout the motion um, so that we get really pure hip uh, range of motion. So this will help you improve your hip range of motion.